up everybody it's your boy blaze horror back at you with another video this video i'm gonna talk about the howling a little bit starring to me my opinion for myself the goddess the scream queen of them all d wallace silver bullet you got countless films with her in it some rob zombie for uh, titles under her belt but here we go the howling collector's edition on blu-ray every time i watch this movie it's like the first time i'm watching it i really enjoy it um it's got this dark gray tone and feel to it uh just the borderline of feeling like you're about to be mad depressed nothing but gray clouds in the sky type feel uh Special effects, the, the, the wolf the transformations in this movie are excellent. But well, yeah, once again, D. Wallace gives us another great character. Um, I got nothing but nice things to say about D. Wallace. It was a real classic. Um, I do favor... This Howling over American Werewolf in London for sure. I love the American Werewolf, American Werewolf in London. Um, but this seems like it's got a little more cramped in uh, extra characters. Uh, there's a little more going on, a little more scenery change. A um, little more of a wolf type scenery also in it than what uh, the American Werewolf in London has. Um... Yeah, The Howling for me, as, for, as far as a Wolfman movie or Wolf horror movie, is everything, then some. Um, I just want to name off a couple other ones that D. Wallace has appeared in. First, we're going to go with some of the classics, which they're all classics, if D. Wallace is in it. Got the Critters. Um... did several films and she came back i believe for the remake uh she was a critter hunter like a bounty hunter type deal so those are pretty sweet next up we got three from hell she played the head women corrections officer the co if you will at the prison where uh baby was locked up uh, she tried tormenting her, but she, it, it turned out that she had this, uh, this huge crush on Baby, is why she was acting the way she was really acting. Uh, it don't turn out too well for D. Wallace's character in this movie, but it's another, uh, great D. Wallace character, character betrayal, uh, if you haven't seen it, and you're a big D. Wallace fan, check it out for at least her. And then the most classic movie... That she has ever been in. And we're talking Academy Awards. We're talking on little dudes from out of space. And not the critters. <laughs> S.E.T. Not only is she a scream queen. But she's also does the family friendly. Um, mom and pop take the kids to the movie. Type characters. And we all know E.T. is a classic sci-fi. When I was a kid, probably one of the few sci-fis I liked this, Star Wars, and naturally, uh, Battlestar Galactica, when it was on, um, Generation 1, the OG. But yeah, D. Wallace has been in some great films. This is just to show off a couple that she appeared in. Uh, like I said, there's countless others. Um, this has got to be in the top at least the top three of uh, D. Wallace films that she's been in and or starring. So yeah, once again, I appreciate you viewing my content. Don't forget to hit the notification button uh, for the upcoming videos. And like I always say, have a safe and productive Horror Sunday. Um, treat others well, um, even if they ain't treating you all so well. You know, I uh, just got to, you know, brush it off. You want to enjoy your hard days, right? Life is too short not to. Um, and then on that note, peace.